In this video, we're going to take a look at how to enter a new record in a new location. So when you log into Nesting Neighbours, this is the page you'll arrive at. And to start entering a record, we want to click here on this button. Click here to begin recording a nest. So you can see here that you select the location of a nest in this drop-down. And this is also where we will place a nest in a new location. So if you're taking part for the first time, the only option you will see here is in a new location. And if you have other locations, you can see them here below. So we're going to select in a new location. This loads up the map and it should load up at the address that you have saved on the your BTO account. And we're going to go zoom in to the nunnery here, BTO headquarters. And we're going to pop a pin here. So this pin is for us to check nest boxes in the woodland here. So I'm going to call it BTO Garden Woods, as this covers the whole of this area here. It just takes a moment to create the site for us. And then from the drop down, we can see that in BTO Garden Woods has been located, created as a location. And we can either add a new nest box to this drop down, or we can add any nest that we find of birds that are not in a box. So I'm going to add a new nest box. We can give this nest box a name, and we have a few nest boxes here. So I'm just going to call this nest box one. It can help to give them a more user friendly name, but I have a map with the names of nest boxes written, so nest box one will work sufficiently for this instance. So next we can select the species. From this drop down here, you can either put unknown species if you're not yet sure what the species is, and then update this at a later date. You can record an unoccupied nest site, or you can select the appropriate species. So last year in this nest box, I had a blue tit. I'll be putting in some historic data as I haven't been able to check the box this year. So this check was on the 17th of April 2019, recorded at lunchtime. There were no eggs or young found in the nest on this occasion, but the nest had been completed and had a lining. And I checked the nest by doing a nest visit. So now we can either add a row below, which, we're, which we can add more data to, or we can simply save the nest record ready to update at a later date. For information on adding more records to your nest records and more details about habitat and nest box design, please see one of the other videos or refer to the help page.